Hello everyone. In this video, I will try to explain working and various other aspects of probably the most commonly used medicine worldwide, paracetamol, name used in Europe, acetaminophen as they call it in USA. It is available under various names, Tylenol, Crocine, Calpol, etc. It is on WHO, World Health Organization, list of essential medicine, which means it is one of the safest and most effective medicine needed in the health system. It has OTC, that is over-the-counter status, since 1959, which means you can buy paracetamol without prescription. I will discuss about the various uses of paracetamol, then will brief about its doses related information. After that, most interesting topic, which is how does paracetamol work? How is it different from other painkillers? Is paracetamol better? We will soon find out. What is its most common adverse effect? Is it avoidable? Finally, some extra facts. Do you know that for snakes, it is used as poison? Now, let's start with the uses of paracetamol. First and widely known use is to treat fever. It can also be used to treat mild to moderate pain. A joint statement of German, Austrian and Swiss headache societies and German Society of Neurology recommend the use of paracetamol in combination with caffeine as one of the several first-line therapies for the treatment of tension and he migraine headaches. Doses recommendation according to the Medicine and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency. For adult over 50 kg, 1 gram up to 4 times a day with minimum of 4 hours cap between each but those reduction is needed if glutathione source are low. You will come to know the reason about the same towards the end of the video. Dose is also reduced if metabolism is fast, starvation, malnutrition, liver or kidney problem, issue with alcoholism etc. So you never know if you qualify any of the dose reduction criteria. Please consult doctor before deciding your dose. Before understanding paracetamol's mechanism of action, you must know how do we get fever or pain. Tissue on injury or infection with the help of enzyme cyclooxygenase, in short COX, leads to synthesis of prostaglandin. This prostaglandins are synthesized in brain as well as at the site of tissue damage. They are ultimately responsible for fever, pain or inflammation. More of this hormone, more is fever or pain. Paracetamol targets this COX enzyme and without COX, prostaglandin synthesis will decrease. Paracetamol is rapidly absorbed by gastrointestinal tract. Then it penetrates blood-brain barrier. Surprisingly, its mechanism of action is not completely understood. But most likely, it blocks a specific type of COX enzyme located mainly in the brain. Thereby block the formation and release of prostaglandin. And voila, your pain and fever have decreased. Please note that causes are still there, you are just not feeling the symptoms. There are many natural COX inhibitors like fish oil, vitamin D, some flavonoids, basically plant pigments. After having some basic understanding of mechanism, we will see its comparison with other painkillers. How is paracetamol different from other painkillers like non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs, example ibuprofen, diclofenac, etc. First, paracetamol works on prostaglandin reactors in brain only, while others work at the site of pain. Since it does not inhibit prostaglandin synthesis in peripheral tissues, it lacks anti-inflammatory effects. When used in recommended doses, it does not induce gastrointestinal side effects typical of other painkillers. Now let's find out why it is stomach friendly. There are mainly two types of COX enzyme, 1 and 2. Just for revision, COX that is cyclooxygenase is an enzyme involved in prostaglandin synthesis. COX-1 is present in variety of tissues in body including the site of inflammation and stomach. Some of the prostaglandin synthesized by COX-1 are involved in the protection of inner lining of the stomach as well. Paracetamol doesn't block COX-1 whereas other painkillers block both COX-1 and COX-2. When COX-1 enzyme is blocked, inflammation is reduced but the protection of lining of the stomach is also lost, leading to the stomach trouble. So you can safely take paracetamol empty stomach. Paracetamol has many advantages like good bioavailability, low toxicity at low doses, fast elimination, cheap, side effects are rare. Paracetamol is essentially metabolized in liver. Metabolites are excreted through kidney in urine. There are three major metabolic pathways. One of them leads to the formation of a chemical NAPQI which damages the liver through toxic reaction. Fortunately, this NAPQI is detoxified by a protein glutathione. 
This glutathione is a strong antioxidant and it is synthesized in human body. Everything is balanced until you overdose. When paracetamol dose is high, supply of glutathione falls short leading to the dominance of toxic intermediate and ultimately liver damage. Therefore, dose limit is low for individual with low glutathione level which may be due to age, disease or malnutrition etc. Another but rare side effect of paracetamol is skin reaction. Thanks for watching. If you have any query, leave it in comment box.